Module files and folders are located in Joomla's Modules folder. Each module has its own subfolder named mod underscore and the name of the module. For this example, we will create a folder named mod underscore foo. The modules folder contains a minimum of two files, one PHP file and one XML file with the same name as the subfolder mod underscore foo dot php mod underscore foo dot xml The PHP file requires minimum code as shown. This line of code ensures that the script will only be executed by the Joomla system and prevents someone from accessing the file directly. For our first example, we will output a simple line of HTML code. The minimum code for the XML file is the tag extension with the attributes type equals module, client equals site, and within the extension tag, the tag's name, description, files, and within the files tag, the file name tags, listing each file in the module. The main PHP file will have an attribute module equals and then the name of the module, in this case mod underscore foo. We will start with this bare bones module and add more options later. Before we can use this module, we will need to register the extension in the database. We are going to let the Joomla installer do this for us. Create a zip file of the mod underscore foo folder and its files. Log into the Joomla's administrator section of the website, go to Extensions, Extension Manager, upload the mod underscore foo dot zip file and install. The module has now been registered in the database. Now we will publish the module. Go to Module Manager, select the Foo module. Change the status to Publish and select the module position. Assign the module to all pages. Our new module is now displayed on our website.